Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm a Ukrainian and I vlog daily from my country Ukraine since the start of this awful war with Russia. And in my videos I answer your questions and to provide and provide you with some important facts about our culture, history and everyday life. And uh, today I want to speak about one of the very important Ukrainian traditions that we always follow before Easter and that is the creation of Easter eggs known as pysankas. Uh, these are specifically decorated ornament eggs, painted and various techniques. It's a very difficult but at the same time beautiful process. I'm not very good at doing that, so in my family we simply paint the eggs or the decorations that we apply are very simple. But in many regions of Ukraine there are families and there are artists who are professional in that. And of course every pysonka is very special. It is a story decoded in various national symbols and you can buy lots of books, you can read lots of manuals that describe you the meaning both of the symbols and the colors that are applied on the egg. Of course this is a combination of Christian traditions with pre-Christian traditions and um, as I am not very good at drawing these eggs I decided I will take you to our local museum and there you will be able to see a small exhibition and this exhibition is actually the result of the work of the museum because they organize small clubs where people learn how to decorate their eggs. Also many of these pysankas travel today to the Ukrainian armed forces because they are uh, like extremely important part of Ukrainian tradition and we believe that such things protect our soldiers from the evil that comes from uh, Russia. So today I will combine this video and I will take you to the museum of the local lore. A very weird name is for me, but believe me, in many regions of Ukraine and I'm sure that in many other post-Soviet countries you will find a museum of the local lore. And there in that museum you will find exhibitions dedicated to local geography, local culture, ethnography, history, a mixture of all that. And of course, some specific exhibitions dedicated to a particular event in the Ukrainian life and Easter is not an exception. And as we celebrate Easter on the 24th of April this year, as uh, many Orthodox churches, then it is uh, up to date to speak about Pysynki and this tradition here. This is our museum of local lore, a very popular name in many post-Soviet countries, but it has some exhibits from history, I don't know, geography, biology. When I was a kid I liked entomological collections in here and I am going to show you some pysankas that are inside. This is how war looks in my city. These are bags, sacks with the sand that must protect the building in case of bombings, explosions and things like that. And also I guess the cellar can be used as a bomb shelter. So it all looks like that. And spring. various plants. We like that. Inside the museum and I will show you the results of people's work. Here they have a small club that teaches people to decorate pysankas and later they stay here and they can be passed from generation to generation because they look like real masterpieces. And here we can see the results. Thank you. 
I have to be very careful. I cannot decorate things like that. But it all looks very beautiful. And it all has some messages. This Pysonkos will go to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Children participated in their decoration. And of course, they add energy and strength to all Ukrainians. They are packed. And in a couple of minutes, they will travel to a hotter spot in Ukraine. Look at all of these ornaments. These eggs are traditional pisankas, and each region of Ukraine has its own symbols. I cannot tell you which one I like best because even this, without color, look really professional. And oh, this one is with an oak leaves i guess these colors all of them are really beautiful they are emptied so they can stay for a long period of time and many of these eggs were passed from generation to generation and this is just a small exhibition and here they are i cannot choose a favorite Pisanka, because there are many of them, for example, look at this one, right? How many colors, how many symbols, Christian and older ones, this kind of tree and goats. It all looks very nice. And people are trained to do, to draw Pisankas in our local museum. Let's have a look at this basket too. And I think they are really beautiful. And there is a whole alphabet or something that can explain you the meaning of each pisanka. And the colors, they are natural and they look so beautiful. And they can be used as a decoration, henny, or anything like that. Also, it is very typical for Pisankas to appear as decorations everywhere. For example, this is a trading center and it is really big. Let's come up closer. Just like this. <laughs> but this is more popular than anything else. We don't have Easter rabbits. Well, we do have them as an influence from Europe, other countries, but the typical Ukrainian decoration is the Easter egg. What is important and must be definitely mentioned is that every Ukrainian region, ethnographical region, has its own ornament. And right here we have a leaflet on the Volyn region Pysonka. And these are eggs that were created on various competitions. Yeah, we do have championships and competitions in that. No, I did not participate any because I'm very bad at drawing such things, but you may have a look. And they also describe what the ornament means. And from what I understand, the Volin type, my original type of person cup, is uh, not that bright. For example, in the Carpathians, they prefer bl uh, very bright colors. And here they are more natural i like these ones and it all looks pretty interesting this is just a tiny bit of the information because pisanka is something extraordinary very interesting and i do believe that many other countries practice something similar but for ukraine it is very important and each region region has its own ornament uh, that describes the story the history and uh, many of these person cars are recreated in the wooden prototypes of eggs or you can take away the egg from the inside and just decorate the shell but uh, we believe that they bring luck they protect and of course they tell the story of uh, ukraine that's why in many countries you may find the monuments to pisanka 
and I know about one in Canada, for example, and they are closely connected to the life of the Ukrainian uh, diaspora in that region. <clears throat> and of course, I believe that after we win this war, I will be able to record a better uh, quality video that will tell the story of Pysanka. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like the video if you like the video and subscribe. Slava Ukraini!